All right, what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. I can't believe I'm doing this video. I cannot believe I'm doing this video. And see, see, this is why, all glory to the most high. This is why you need to, uh, you, you need to, uh, you know, uh, what was I about to say? I'm so, dis uh, oh my gosh, ESPN sucks. ESPN is beyond horrible. So I don't know if anybody of you guys know. So yesterday or today, well, yesterday, ESPN posted their top one, top 50 players has officially dropped their top 50 athletes since the 2000s. Now, and uh, this is beyond horrible. This list sucks so bad. It's not. It's 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 at a point with ESPN where it's like, can you just go out of business? Toys R Us is out of business. Uh, Blockbus is out of business. GameSpot is about to go out of business. Why can't this horrible company go out of business? Stephen A is more worried about politics. Uh, I guess they're going to get, uh, what's his name back? Uh, Skip Bayless back soon. But you know it is what it is. But uh, I'll do a video on Skip when he actually leaves. But uh, So ESPN re reveals the top 100 athletes of the 21st century. Now, granted, I'm going to be... Uh, doing the top 50 because the top 50 is I, I'm sorry this is beyond horrible this is beyond horrible all right so I'm gonna read off these names number one Michael Phelps number two Serena Williams number three Lionel Messi number four LeBron five Tom Brady six Roger Federer, 7, Simone Biles, 8, Tiger Woods, 9, Usain Bolt, 10, Kobe Bryant, 11, uh, Jockid, uh, I don't know, that tennis player, some tennis player, uh, 12, Rafael Nadell, uh, 13, Cristiano Riondo, 14, Curry, 15, Katie Lundick, Lidicki, don't know her name, don't care, number 16, Tim Duncan, number 17, Shaq, uh, 18, Mahomes, 19, Lewis Hampton, 20, Aaron Donald, 21, Diana Taurasi, 22, Sidney Crosby, 23, Kevin Garnett, 24, Albert Pujas, I don't know how to pronounce his name, 25, Floyd Mayweather, 26, Peyton, 27, Randy Moss, 28, Nicole Jokic, 29, Michael Shuck, Michael Shuck, Marker, don't know who he is, number 30, Mike Trout, 31, Clayton Kershaw, number 32, Marta, Marta, number 33, Miguel Carbra, number 34, Tamiki, Catchings, number 20, I mean 20. Number 30, number uh, 35, Dwayne Wade, number 36, Maya Moore, uh, number 37, in high I, 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 look up number 37 on ESPN. I, I can't pronounce this dude's name. Number 38, Barry Bonds, number 39, Kevin Durant, number 40, Justin Vern Lander, 41, Dirk, 42, Giannis, uh, 43, Alex Rodriguez, number 44, Malika Schifrin. 45, David Ortiz, 46, uh, Max Scumferzer, don't know who that is. Number 47, Jimmy Johnson, number 48, Terry Henry, number 49, Atina Bone Matty, number 50, Zun Din. Z uh, all right, I I'm done reading this BS list. Okay, let's, let's get to it. Number one, number one, and I'm going to name all these players. How is Canelo Alvarez and Manny Pacquiao not on this list? How is how are these guys not on the list? From two it says from the 2000s, so from 2000 up. How are two of the best? How are two of the best boxers from the 2000s not on this list? First of all, there's way too many female athletes on this list. I don't care if that sounds sexist or not. There is way too many female athletes on this list. I have no problem with Serena and Simone Biles being on here, but the Diana Taurasi. Are you serious? Margaret? Tamika Catchings? Maya Moore? Are you serious right now? Over Manny Pacquiao and Canelo Alvarez? And then you have Floyd Mayweather at number 25, the best boxer from the 2000s? Are you serious right now? Are we really serious right now? Like, come on, bro. Come on, also, you put Mike Trout and Barry Bonds on this list, and you put Alex Rodriguez and David Ortiz on this list, and I like Alex Rodriguez. How in the hell 
in the 2000s does Derek Jeter get left off this list from 2000 to 2024? Make it make sense. And keep in mind, this is a list from 2000 to 2024. They have Mahomes. They have Alex Rodriguez. They have Barry Bonds. They have David Ortiz. They have Mike Trout on this list. Mike Trout and David Ortiz do not deserve to be on this list over Derek Jeter. I have no problem with A-Rod. I have no problem with uh, Barry Bonds. But even with A-Rod, and A-Rod's my favorite Yankee, you put him above Derek Jeter? Derek Jeter, the sheriff, Mr. November. He, uh, How many times did he? He went to, I don't know how many World Series. Would he go to two World Series? And won one in 09? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? And then also, how do you leave John Jones and Conor McGregor off this list? In what world do you leave Conor McGregor and John Jones off this list? I get Conor kind of took a downturn on it. Conor took a downturn. Fine, whatever. But you have all these. So you're telling me Diana Taurasi deserves to be on this list more than Conor McGregor. She damn sure don't deserve to be on this list more than John Jones. Are you serious right now? You put Giannis and Nicole Jokic and Dirk on the list over Canelo and Manny Pacquiao? Are you serious right now? Are we serious right now? So, so let me get this straight. Gronkowski doesn't deserve to be on this list, but Diana Taurasi does. David Ortiz does. Michaela Mik- uh, Shinriff does. I'm sorry. There's way too many women on this list. I'm sorry. There are way too many women on this list. I don't care if that sounds sexist or whatever or not. Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, Derek Jeter, John Jones, and Conor McGregor. And I just thought of a football guy, too. Uh, Rob Gronkowski. You leave them off the list. How? How? In what world do you leave them off the list? You put You put guys like... You put Maya Moore and Miguel Carper in there. And Mika, you put Clayton Kershaw. I mean, I have no problem with Clayton Kershaw being in there. But still. And also, why is Serena Williams number two? Why is this transgender number two? Like, come on, bro. Over LeBron and Tom Brady? Like, come, come on, bro. Come on. There's any, like, dude, I get it. You're, ESPN is woke. They're trying to do it. But this is beyond... Ridiculous. And once again, I have no problem with the only woman I'm, I have don't really have a problem with being on this list is Serena and what's her face? Where is she? Simone Biles. But you put, first of all, she's you put Serena at number two. She's not even the best tennis player on here. Roger Federer is better than her. And uh, what's this dude's name? Uh, no, uh, you remember that dude who got uh trapped in that state, trapped in that country. Because he didn't want to take the <clears throat> shot, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. Navaka, Jokic, whatever his name is. He's a better tennis player than Serena, too. This list is beyond horrible. And all glory to the most high. This into is this is why you need to fill uh this is why you need to support the unfiltered sports podcast. Because this list is beyond horrible. Horrible. It's not even funny. It's not even funny, bro. That's it. That's all. ESPN, please go away. Can we shut down ESPN? Can we use ESPN to, you know, feed some African kids or, you know, support or, you know, do something. Give it back to the people for the taxes. Do something with it. RJ out.